Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in today's video I'm looking at the entries for the Beast Within competition. I'll be showing the winners and honourable mentions whilst giving some hopefully useful feedback and critique. I've tried to give everybody some brief airtime here by doing a screenshot of all the entries, but I want to focus on just a few for feedback which might help everybody in the future when entering competitions and generally when making portfolio pieces. Firstly, I'd like to thank MSI for donating the prizes, and the top three will get sent a t-shirt, keyring and drawstring bag from MSI. MSI make great looking but fast machines for creators, hence the idea of the Beast Within title for the competition, a machine with a beautiful exterior but a beast inside. I was using the Creator P100X and the MSI Prestige 34 inch Creator Monitor, which was really enjoyable and made a big difference to my workflow. So a couple of tips for entering competitions. There's a really nice one here from Rude, and it's a concept by John Lewis. Let's take a closer look. I really like this piece and I think it's really fantastic. I love the style and form of the monster. I like the colors used and it's just put together really well. The one thing that pulled this back was that it was a concept by someone else. So in a way you can't get points for the idea. I think it is a great idea to team up with people and use their concept art, but a lot of competitions do give points for creativity and therefore you will kind of lose out in that section. So that's what stopped this one from being a winner, although it is a really great piece. So well done to Rude for this one. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning is fan art. And we've got a nice sculpt of Venom here from Tech Indie Soft. Let's take a closer look. So they've sculpted Venom and it looks really great. However, once again, you can't really get the points for creativity because it's not your idea. And often when you're producing pieces for competitions, you're going to use them in your portfolio. But I generally wouldn't recommend fan art for portfolio pieces unless you are really pushing the concepts a bit further and doing something a bit different with the original idea. So possibly if this was maybe a combination of the Hulk and Venom, because Venom obviously being the suit, that could look kind of cool with half Hulk, half Venom features. It's probably already been done though, but hopefully you get the idea about pushing the boundaries and taking it in a new direction. Fan art can be quite good for getting likes and views, but generally in portfolios it's not great for employers, as they look more for individuality and unique ideas. There were lots of other great entrants, as you can see here, and you might be asking yourself whether you should bother entering competitions, whether it's a good idea. Well, I think they are a good thing because they give you a focus brief and a time period for your work, so they can be really useful for developing your skills. They can, of course, get you noticed as well if you win the competitions, particularly competitions which are really prestigious like ArtStation, and sometimes employers looking for employees will put out competition briefs as well. Some people are kind of against them because they think artists are working for free but if you are struggling to find work then maybe it's not a bad avenue to test your skills and to give yourself some focus. If you're looking for other competitions CG Boost does a monthly competition with some good prizes so take a look at their site links will be in the description. If you'd like to see more competitions from me which does tend to mean more sort of sponsorship type stuff with adverts such as this one then do let me know. You might ask the question what if I'm not good enough? Is it even worth entering? Well, of course it's worth entering because it will always improve your skills. And it's all about giving you a focus and a time limit, which will help you improve. Okay, so before talking about the winners, let's take a look at the honorable mentions. We've got this really great piece by Timinus, really nice sculpt, great looking landscape, but it does fall down on one particular point in my opinion. The main focus gets lost within the background and the artist is trying to keep to a color scheme here but it would be much better to have some contrast between the foreground and the background. You can do that with color, but you can also do that with tone, so you could have just made the background darker. I will quickly select and highlight the main shape. And you can see by darkening the background there, it would just make the, it would just make the character pop that bit better. You could also experiment with lighting on your character. You've got some interesting kind of blue tones, so you have got a light which is highlighting the character but it doesn't stand out enough against the background. So making more of this blue light would help, taking away some of these highlights in the background back here and here, because they're too close to the levels in here. So either mixing it up with a different color in the background or changing the tone drastically. However, it is a really fantastic piece and with those minor adjustments, it would have been a winner. Next, we've got this really nice one from Phil. Now, I really like your beast models. I like the pose. And I like the fact that you've kind of duplicated it and got lots in the scene, so they seem like a horde of these nasty creatures coming to get us. But again, we've got a slight compositional problem. 
this area around here tends to blend into one another and I don't know this piece here which beast it's attached to this one or this one it kind of gets lost between the two what we need is an area defining this one far more from the one in the background or the one next to it and I'd be tempted to actually take this one out completely make this one our main focus and then we've got these background elements blurred and out of the way not distracting too much and making it a stronger image really nice creature though really powerful image but just those slight changes in construction would really help so well done Phil excellent work I also found this one from Lucard Matt an interesting piece really nice sculpt really great idea sort of emerging from the PC and I thought I'd highlight this one because it had a bit of a creative edge to it because it had a different idea but again it falls down a little bit in terms of the scene construction we've got these big areas of blank space here here and here and if we move the bed in move the rug in this way move this sort of chest of drawers this way and squeezed the pictures together we could actually cut the room down here squeezing it all together would make it make much more sense compositionally you don't want to make things look crowded but in this case it just kind of looks a little bit empty so watch out for those sort of things. I do see them quite often when people are making interior scenes and they're almost struggling to fill up the blank space. If you find you are struggling, then just pull the whole thing in and make it smaller and make the space smaller. Then we've got this great image from 3D Fi, some kind of samurai beast. I really like this one. I thought the actual construction was really good. I like the sort of lightning strike in the background. It really highlights the character. The pose works reasonably well. But I think what lets it down is some understanding of anatomy. It's not bad, but there's just certain areas that need more refinement. We need muscles within here coming to the abs in here and a bit more bulk here. Obviously, obviously we can exaggerate these forms with our deltoids coming around here, but actually the muscle structure tends to come this way. And with such a big bicep on the front, you'd expect more structure at the back where the tricep is. It's very close but it could be really improved if there was just a little bit more direction in terms of the anatomy. I feel like we certainly lose a lot of the form in this area and it is right in the center so we kind of focus on it. So just watch out for those sort of things. Otherwise, a really, really great piece. I really like this one. Then there's this fantastic one from Multitask Renders. I really like the pose, love the detail and I really like everything about it. The only thing that I don't like is the way that it's sitting in the background. I think it's always worth giving your characters some sort of floor to stand on. Without that they can kind of seem like they're floating and it makes them seem like some sort of cardboard cutout or something. So it's really important to dress up your models with some sort of floor. You could even model some sort of skulls in there and sort of mud and dirt and tree branches or something like that to anchor it into some sort of genre as well. It's a minor point, but I think it would make a huge difference to this model, which I think is really, really great. This was very close to being a winner as well, so really well done on this entry. I also really like this one from Matt Lawrenson. I thought it was really great in terms of the idea and the style, and I think if it had been a bit more complete, then it would have been a winner. I really like the sketchy roughness of it, and they admit as well that it is just a sketch rather than a finished piece. But it's nice to see some 2D work in there as well, and I really like your art style. As for the winners then, my first choice is Hyeon, I think you pronounce it. And if we take a look at these renders, I think this is really an exceptional piece. I would like to have seen it posed and again with some sort of floor to anchor it, which we do see in this version here. But I'd like to see a bit more experimentation with lighting within this scene. But what I really like are some of the details. And you can see a lot of time and a lot of effort has gone into this piece and it looks really great. So well done to Hyeon for your fantastic work. So that's our first winner. Our second one is Beastic. And it looks like the beast is kind of bursting out of this person's chest as they were being frozen in carbonite or whatever it is. I like the sort of moody lighting and the textures. I think they work really well. And some really nice detail in the sculpts. Looks like there's some more experimentation with the textures here. And I possibly prefer what's happening here in terms of the lighting. With the first one, I'd like to see a little bit more emphasis on the face as well as the body. Maybe in the composition, you could cut a little bit off here and add just a little bit to the top. But well done to you as our second winner. Our third and final winner is VTech82. I like this one, this sort of face hugger kinder surprise. The textures are really nice. It does make you think of the kinder surprise egg. And the face hugger itself does look like the same material that you get from those kinder toys. 
The main reason I chose this one is for the creativity. They took the idea and they went in a different direction, offered some sort of different and creative interpretation of the brief. So really well done on that one. Really enjoyed seeing that. So well done to you three. Your prizes will be sent out to you. Well done to everybody that took part once again. Let me know in the comments below whether you agree and if you want more competitions like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.